Can you get everyone together? We're going to be late now. Oh, you know, it's breakfast time, please. Early spring yeah. in southwest France. Breakfast a... time for John Burton Race and his family before the children leave for school. And John is still battling hard to wean them off junk food. No! I'm auctioning these last packets of cereal. OK, five euros for chocolate crispies. Four euros for frosties. Or three euros for smacks. What? We've paid for cereal? Yeah. Look, look. If you're going to eat rubbish, you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go shopping today and get some cereal and... Yeah, and I'm going to the market to buy some fresh food. I know two of the kids miss our home in England, but I don't. On this voyage of discovery, everyone's coming with me, and I expect complete 100% support. It might be that I expect too much, and it might be that... You know, I am a bit mad, but it's just me. Meal times can be pretty mad too. Anybody else want an omelette? But then John did come to France to get his family life back. Martha, have you done your last homework? Or have you forgotten your book? Or has someone taken it? Or did it fall out of the window of the car? What happened to it? Have you done it? No. You haven't done it again. Can we have a word? That's three days in a row now. After the school run, John heads for the weekly market in Ravel, a rich hunting ground for him in his quest to get to the roots of French food. Its ingredients and its traders will star in his book on the cuisine of the Languedoc. Everything here is locally produced and far fresher than anything John cooked with in London. I, I love buying off the markets because it's so... First of all, it, I love all the atmosphere. I love the hustle and the bustle. I love to see the fresh ingredients. You don't come to France to go buying your, your, your food from a supermarket. John's wife, Kim, is also out shopping, but she's doing it her way in castelnau Oh, if I go home without these, Charles will go crazy. I'm afraid John isn't too happy with the meeting so much of it, but then again, I go against what John says and buy it all pre-packed. It's really difficult being married to John because I know, as far as he's concerned, I'm probably a real, and the kids, a real peasant to her food. You know, we just, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, since coming out to France, they're definitely trying more. But uh, children do need treats. And, uh, you know, I even think the dog's got to have a treat every now and then. Goat's cheese, a speciality of the Languedoc region, is just coming into season. This lady's got the best uh, goat cheeses in the market, and I'm trying to find uh, the right cheese for a dish that I want to do for Kim for lunch. Kim loves goat cheese. It, she always orders it. Every restaurant we go to, she has to start with a goat's cheese salad of some description, so I'm going to make her one, but we've got to get the cheese right because she's a bit funny. It's too creamy, it's too soft, it's too hard, it tastes a bit soapy. Oh, I don't like that, it's too strong. So we've got to get the right cheese. I know John probably says I buy a lot of rubbish, which invariably I do, but uh, and I suppose they're the things that are quite expensive, like the biscuits and the snacks and all that. But then, you know, he's a big snacker himself. This lady's been in the market for years and she is producing cheeses the old-fashioned way, something that I think eventually will die out in France. So it's all about the European legislation and the hygiene regulations, but... What it does mean is that she works by a uniform, old-fashioned standard using just unpasteurised milk. Now, that goat's cheese, only a day old, is the same as this cheese here. And this one's called frais, which means fresh. And this is mi-sec, which means it's had time to mature. But this one here is probably going to be a lot better for what I want than this one here, because it'll have a little bit more depth of flavour that I need. The only problem I've got, it's always my problem, is the kids, trying to educate them to something different, something new. But actually, they love goat cheese. They've been used to it. They're spoiled. Alors, 14 euros. Merci, They make 
a goat's cheese fromage blanc here, which is like a cottage cheese, but made with goat's milk. Really, really creamy and just coagulated and absolutely delicious. And I've got to have a tub of that as well. But well, I think we've got enough goat cheese. And I better leave before I buy the lot. John never admits to what he spends at the market. Um, and certainly I wouldn't admit to him what I, what I spend. Thank God we've got separate accounts. In the local village of Montferrand, the young ones are at the school for four to six-year-olds. It's been a big change. The school day is eight till five, lessons are an hour long, and it's all in a foreign language. But they're flourishing. Oh, no. Amelia's learning Spanish, in French. Eliza's a star at biology, though she's not keen on French sardines. And Charles is learning to count. My six is the wrong way round. In their new life in France, John and Kim often have time for a long lunch and a quick siesta. Menu for today's romantic déjeuner à deux, goat's cheese dip with garlic, paprika and olive oil, all fresh from the market. The whole transition of coming out of a very busy kitchen where you've got to do everything in a matter of seconds to coming out here and being able to take your time, I'm finding uh, difficult. Also, coming out of a commercial kitchen environment to a domestic one is difficult as well. And it's even worse than that because there's no one to do my washing up or peel my garlic or chop my onions and clean my lettuces and things that I thought would normally take two or three minutes take forever. This is straightforward. You've got a little raw vegetables or crunchy vegetables. And normally out here what I do is just wash these radishes and lay them down like this. But I'll show you what I used to do, shall I? Pretty little flowers. And you know, in the 80s, they used to make roses out of everything, like tomato rose petals at the top of a terrina foie gras. I used to think we're so clever. If I go to a restaurant now and see this sort of stuff, um, my first inclination is to get up and walk out, because you know the guy's a moron. Or, <clears throat> or he's a Gary Gitter look-alike, you know, with big platform shoes and bell-bottom trousers. There you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> Next, John prepares a baked goat's cheese salad. These goat's cheeses are, um, are quite firm and they're probably about four or five days old. Into the flour. You're cooking the way you present your food. It's very much how you are. In the early days, I used to be really extravagant and really loony and um, I think in those days they were calling Mark up here White Jagger of the Aga. Well, they were calling me the Dali. And because I was young and I needed to impress, I was a show-off. I wanted to be as extravagant as I possibly could. Here, it's just simple. Back to the roots, regional French food, and I love it, where taste and texture is as much as important as presentation. In fact, even more so. You get a good ingredient, don't bagger it up, don't frill it, don't try and put ten flavours on a plate, Less is definitely more. Definitely more. Right, just a nice golden brown colour. And into the oven, it takes about five minutes. Hi, darling. Hello. I thought, I thought we agreed that we're not going to buy a load of junk. Yeah. What about these, then, for you? Yeah, yeah, they're different. They're real... Yeah, I bet you hide those. Yeah, but they're real peanuts. <laughs> oh, God! So I don't use whirly containers that leave all the water on the lettuces. I just put the lettuce in the cloth. And soak everybody around you. But you get all the water off, which is the main thing, because no vinaigrette will take to any lettuce that's got water on it. Be happy. People used to pay a fortune for me cooking for them. <laughs> You're getting it for free. 
In France, you just have to stop for lunch, even if you're only four. At the children's school, they break at 12 on the dot for a three-course meal. The French think that food education is as important as anything else. Geography, for example. Um, the kids are having three and four course meals. The, the menu's printed the day before, and they're trying goat's cheese, and they're trying black pudding, and they're trying all sorts of different things that they'd never see at school dinners in, in England. Disgusting. <laughs> I don't like these cheeses. Those cheeses. John served Kim goat's cheese the first time they met, though he can't actually remember it himself. Today, it'll come with a dash of honey from the region. Around here, the locals eat a little bit of Pyrenees honey with it. Don't turn your nose up. Tiny bit. That's fine. That's no. fine. No, no, no. <sighs> Trust me, will you? It works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And you had the top down on the uh, Audi, you poser. Yeah, catching a few rays. But you can't do that in your banger. You look like a real spit in that, you know that? Driving around, flashing about the southwest of France. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I don't know. Well, if you think I look a spit, what do you think you look like? Well, don't you like me in my car? No, I don't. Very garlicky. Too garlicky, is it? Depends what you're doing later on. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it's very garlicky. Do you mean there's hope? After this siesta with Kim, John's on the road again, exploring the food of the Languedoc for his book. With the milder weather, wherever you look, the goats are out in force. Round here, they outnumber humans four to one. There you are, look at that. There's goats everywhere. Everyone seems to have a goat round here because they're so easy to keep, they're friendly, they eat everything and anything, and they produce great cheese. Lots of the best finds are by accident, you know. If you go off the beaten track a little bit, you'll see the sort of rural life opening up for you. Keen to find out all about goat husbandry and just where his cheese comes from, John's visiting Christian Bros, who's farmed goats ever since he took a break from the big smoke in Paris 30 years ago and never went back. How to make goat's cheese, j'ai besoin. Avec plaisir. I've just been headbutted. Let me out of here. Doucement, John. Doucement. OK, I'm being told off now. I've got to, I've got to be a lot calmer than I am. Hein? I'm Regarde. trying to be calm, but I haven't done this before. John has a go at the modern way of milking goats. If you put your thumb in it, you can feel the rubber inside contracting and expanding. It's like a, a vacuum cleaner. Not quite as bad as I thought. It feels really strange for me, but the, the goats seem to like it. Um, thank God. Venez, 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 venez. And if it wasn't for the smell, I'm enjoying Maybe myself, really. Next, traditional milking. <laughs> look how quickly he's doing that, look. That's incredible. Comme ça. Tu fermes en haut right. et tu presses. Comme ça. Voilà. OK, here goes the moment of truth. En début de lactation, jusqu'à 16 chèvres. You have to do 16 goats by hand. I don't know if I could. Uh, I think one's enough for me. And this, in about 48 hours' time, will be a nice goat's cheese, I hope. Making goat's cheese is really quite simple. The curds and whey are separated and left for 24 hours to dry. Once that's done, you just have to mould and shape it. It's a bit Maintenant, like making pastry when it comes away clean in your hand. Il est bien. It's ready. Rolled into a bowl and then squeezed into what looks like a plastic drain pipe. Nothing too technical about that, is it? My first goat's cheese. Professional. <laughs> oh, I like that one the best. The inevitable wine and cheese session follows. 
John's so taken with the idea of making his own cheese from scratch, he fixes a deal to buy his very own goat from Monsieur Bross. Cheers. 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 Not cheese. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Instead of pretending, what I want to do is get in and really learn about it. Merci. Daya. Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Oui, au revoir. It seems to me that if you want to make goat's cheese, you've got to have some goat's milk. And if you want, if you've got goat's milk, you've got to have a goat. John's already running late. He's meant to be in Castanodai picking up eldest daughter Eve from college. She's waiting in a bar with two French mates who both speak English. It's a chance for a good moan about her dad in her own language. My dad never used to be embarrassing until we moved to this crazy country. I think it's the air that's done it to him. He's come here and he's in his chuggalum 2CV and he's decided to buy ducks and, you know, be a farmer and do this. He thinks he's going to be everything in France, but he's not. My family are real townies. Getting used to country life has been a bit of a shock for them. Not for me, I love it. I know as soon as I get home with a goat, I'm going to get it from Kim, like I did with the ducks. <laughs> With a bit of luck, in a few weeks' time, we'll have some goat cheese. Hello. Hi. Hello. What the hell is that? Well, this is a goat. What do you mean a frigging goat? Say hello. It's it a stinks, female goat. Sir. It doesn't stink at all. It whips. It doesn't. It's awesome, coming near me. Mum, when have you smelling like a goat? The way to do it is to win around gently. Gently? How are you going to do it gently? Hi, love. There's a goat outside. No, just over a period of time. How, what are you going to do? Hide it? Ah, fresh air. Back home at La Garrigue, no one's aware of John's new venture, though they all know with him you never know what's coming next. I think living with John is like living on a roller coaster. I mean, he, you know, he is very unpredictable. He does lots of things to surprise you and then will surprise you even more when you're at least expecting it. John, what's that staring out of the window at me? Come and have a look what I've got, Charles! Oh my God, look at it in there! <laughs> what are you I doing with that? I knew you'd like it. No, I don't. What I do said he'd be like sleeping it. In... Yeah. I said he'd be sleeping yeah. with it tonight. <laughs> then I'll get it out. Well, there's a poo in there. Oh! Have you said oh. to this? Olivia and Martha, clean up the mess. What do you think? Smell it, the fragrance. I love the corny head. Corny head? Charles, in particular, likes corny, as they've so named the goat. That's just so like John, you know, to go and be... A, now he wants to be a goat farmer, I don't know. I mean, we've got a pen full of ducks, and a goat has now joined. You wait, give me two weeks, no, look, what and we'll have that? our own goat's cheese. Look. No, thanks. No, seriously. No, I don't want it. I don't you want wait. it. Look, you've got a load of ducks down there as yeah, well. Yeah, and a goat. We no, need no, goat milk. Come on. Look, don't need leave. Goat. I'm going to change. No. I need a wash. Eve, someone needs to clean out the car. You said Livia Martha. Yeah, yucky poo. He's upstairs having a bath. He absolutely stinks of goat. You know what? And, um... I don't know, you'll have to go. The goat will have to go, or John will go with the goat and take that car with him as well. His bum was by the shelf. His head was by my head all the way home. While Martha and Olivia muck out and Horny settles in, the carefully scrubbed John retires from the battleground to make a peace offering, Petit Vieux Pie. Some of Christian's goat's cheese wrapped in spinach leaves baked in a flaky puff pastry. This is important because if you don't get the spinach dry, all the water leaks out of the leaves into the pastry and the whole thing is a mess. Cooking for the family is um, a tough job really because they've all got their favourites so you never get it right for all of them at once. The cheese you're looking for is something that's uh, between eight and ten days old. Something that's really fresh is no good at all. You'll just put it in here, it'll just melt, and when you come to cut it, it'll just pour out like, you know, like liquid cheese, and it's, it's not a fondue you're making, you're trying to make a bativia or a pie. When you're buying it, just feel it. If it feels fairly dry, that's the cheese you want. With the pastry, 
I've rolled out the top slightly thicker than the bottom because uh, we want a nice sort of puffy look on the on the pie. It has to be sort of dome shaped. This is the the glue. The egg sticks the two pastries together. Just brush it down with your fingers. No fancy mould involved, but make sure you flour your cup, otherwise you'll end up bringing the cheese up with the cup. Use my cereal bowl over the top just to get a nicer shape. Save this puff pastry, it makes great cheese straws. They go in the oven now for about 25 minutes on a sort of medium oven. Red wine, Charles, would you like some red wine? Oh, yes, please. Red wine. Can you what? Can have a farm. Can you have a farm? We're going to have a farm, Charles. Yes. If, if Mum lets us. Yeah, because I don't really cool and I want pens. You want what? Ten goats. Ten goats. What else do you want? Pigs. Pigs? You want some pigs? Mm -hmm. Like father, like son. What else? Cows? Cows. Sheep? A perfect goat cheese pitivier that could grace the table of the landmark restaurant in London. But the children are cheesed off. Right, so who likes our, the new addition to our family? Who likes the goat? Hands up. That's me and Charles. Anybody else? OK, the three of us that like the goat don't have to clean him out. Let me ask the question once more. Does anyone like the goat? I love the goat. That just I leaves love Eve the to goat. clean out the goat. Mum, <laughs> look! It's eating your brand or the washing line! The goat! Better not have. You better hope it hasn't. What, the, go the goat's eating the washing? Liar. Are you sure? Let's go and have a look. Come on, Charles. What John, I hope for your sake it isn't. Why did you no, no. It's a disaster. John has got Kim's goat. Getting horny just hasn't been a good idea. Can you take it back, please. Why? Because I don't want it here. Well, what about goat's cheese? I need to make goat's cheese. Well, it's probably my fault again. It's the way I did it. I didn't warn anybody. I didn't say I'm going to come home with a goat. I just turned up, beeping my horn with a big smile on my face. Well, I suppose what do you expect? You know. Ah! Get that stinking animal out of here! It doesn't mean to say I'm going to stop, though. OK, I failed on the goat, but I might get a pig. In the next episode of French Leave, it's Easter and treats all round, even for the dog. Well, no one in their right mind would pay 40 euros for this load of rubbish. Well, I did, to go with the chair. John gets lost, lives it up with some new mates, and gets home to a rocket. I've been out of service. Yeah, drink it, you stink! I'm not good enough to come home, no. you know? Mum chucked the dinner in the bed, so you're in, but you won't be sleeping in your bed tonight. You'll be in the other room.